Hey, this is Mr. Aiden, and this is Chemistry Honors video of Arrhenius Acids and Bases. This is going to be a little bit of a review, but it will be okay because we got to learn some Arrhenius Acids and Bases. So let's get to it. Uh, Arrhenius Acids and Bases are really just talking about strong acids and strong bases, just like a strong Mr. Dale. And so uh, they're going to dissociate 100%, which means they're going to ionize, they're going to split up, they're going to put in, become positives and negatives 100%. 100% completely, which means not only will you be able to use your pH equations immediately, but these solutions, strong acids and strong bases, are strong electrolytes, which means they're going to conduct electricity really, really, really well. Why? Because they dissociate 100% completely. Because they have free mobile ions, positives and negatives, and what we've learned this year is positives and negatives, when it's in a solution, are able to conduct electricity. And so you don't have to memorize strong acids and strong bases in terms of their chemical formulas. You have to just be able to recognize a strong acid and strong base, and you got to write that strong acid as H plus, a proton, or the bases as OH minus, hydroxide. And so uh, we have to know our list of strong acids and strong bases. Here's a list of our, our heinous acids, which again, you don't need to know these strong acids in terms of their chemical formulas you just have to recognize that they are strong acids. Hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydro, hydroiodic, HCl, HBr, HI, sulfuric acid, that's H2SO4, nitric acid, HNO3, and perchloric acid, HClO4. Every single one of these acids, you don't have to write their molecular, molecular formulas. You just have to write H+, which is otherwise known as a proton. Okay. Um, the other one is a list of Arrhenius bases, strong bases. Uh, these are mainly the group one hydroxides. That is, they have to have a metal ion, an alkali metal ion, with hydroxide. That's lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, rubidium hydroxide, cesium hydroxide. These are all strong bases, which means all you have to write is OH minus or hydroxide. That is the quick and simple Arrhenius acids and bases. And you want to go to mysteryaden.com. You want to do an Arrhenius acid and base self-assessment. That's what you're going to do today. Go right to mysteryaden.com, do Arrhenius acid and bases self-assessment, and finish that up. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon.